square root of 128 plus square root of 56 all under square root upon square root of 50 plus square root of 48 all under square root. How to simplify that? So, let us try. So, 128 we can write it as 64 times 2 under square root plus 56 as 28 times 2 under square root then all under square root upon 50 under square root as 25 times 2 under square root plus 48 as 24 times 2 under square root all under square root. Now we can take square root of 2 common and write square root of 2 times square root of 64 plus square root of 2 times square root of 28 upon square root of 2 times square root of 25 plus square root of 2 times square root of 24 under square root. Let us take square root of 2 common upon here also we can take square root of 2 common or this we can also write it as square root of 2 under square root times square root of 64 plus square root of 28 under square root upon this also square root of 2 under square root times square root of 25 plus square root of 24 under square root. Now this and this is a like factor so we can cancel. Now square root of 64 is 8 plus square root of 28 we can write it as 7 times 4 under square root then under square root upon square root of 25 is 5 plus square root of 24 we can write 6 times 4 under square root then under square root or this is 8 plus 2 times square root of 7 under square root upon 5 plus 2 times square root of 6 under square root. Now to further simplify it we need to remove this square root. So if we can write this term in terms of a plus minus b whole square then this whole square can remove this square root. So 8 we can write it as 7 plus 1 plus 2 times square root of 7 under square root upon 5 we can write it as 2 plus 3 and then plus 2 times square root of 6 is square root of 2 times square root of 3 under square root. Now when a is under square root to remove the square root we square it. So when we have to write a as square root we can write it as square root of a square and there won't be any difference it is equal to a. So we can write 7 as square root of 7 square plus 1 square plus 2 times square root of 7 times 1 under square root then upon again 2 as square root of 2 square plus 3 as square root of 3 square plus 2 times square root of 2 times square root of 3 under square root. Now this is in the term of a square plus b square plus 2ab. So this we can write it as square root of 7 plus 1 whole square under square root upon again this is also a square plus b square plus 2ab and this is equal to a plus b whole square. So we can write it as square root of 2 plus square root of 3 whole square under square root. Now remove the square root with this square. So we have square root of 7 plus 1 upon square root of 2 plus square root of 3. Now here we can take a as square root of 3 and b as square root of 2 also. In that case we will have square root of 3 plus square root of 2 whole square and then we will have square root of 3 plus square root of 2. This will help you in rationalizing the denominator. To rationalize the denominator we multiply and divide it by the conjugate of the denominator. So we multiply and divide it by square root of 3 minus square root of 2 upon square root of 3 minus square root of 
2. So this is square root of 7 times square root of 3 minus square root of 2 plus 1 square root of 3 minus square root of 2 upon it is in the form of differences of square. So it will be square root of 3 square minus square root of 2 square. Remove the square root with the square. So this is square root of 21 minus square root of 14 plus square root of 3 minus square root of 2 and 3 minus 2 is 1. So this will be the answer when we take a as square root of 3 and b as square root of 2. What if we have square root of 7 plus 1 upon square root of 2 plus square root of 3. Again multiply and divide it by the conjugate of square root of 2 plus square root of 3. So this is square root of 2 minus square root of 3. So square root of 7 times square root of 2 minus square root of 3 plus 1 times square root of 2 minus square root of 3 upon square root of 2 square minus square root of 3 square or square root of 14 minus square root of 21 plus square root of 2 minus square root of 3. And here we will have 2 minus 3 is equal to minus 1. So we multiply and divide it by minus 1. So it will be minus square root of 14 plus square root of 21 minus square root of 2 plus square root of 3. Then we can rearrange it and write it as square root of 21 minus square root of 14 plus square root of 3 minus square root of 2. In that case, same answer. There is no difference. This answer and this just we rearranged it. How did you solve it? Let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching.